After years of delays, the Medford branch of the extended Green Line is set to open tomorrow. The extension includes five new stops connecting Medford and Somerville to the Green Line. So from Boston, riders will now be able to get all the way to Tufts. Welcome, everyone, to UCC. A weird one in this case, but whatever. So I'm walking in the middle of the road because there's just snow and it's really slippery and there's people coming in so I had to wait until like I had to get out of the way and then go back on the crosswalk but let me explain what's going on for you to see so basically today Monday December 12 2022 marks the day of the opening of the Medford Branch now for those of you who are wondering what the Medford, Medford Branch the MBTA so in a statement that they are officially completed with the construction of the Medford branch, serving six new stations all the way to Medford and Tufts University through College Avenue, connected to the routes 80, 94, and 96. And because of that, uh, you obviously know what this video is about. Basically, I'm going to take the next three days of this prior exploration to film it all. So, this this video in particular is going to review everything of what it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be uh, shown what everyday riders do, uh, from paying your fare to validating your fare to really just having a fun time with the new method bridge. And I saw their Instagram post that one at like 4.47 a.m. And wow, it was busy. Oh, my God. That we shot earlier today. This was of crowds gathering outside waiting for the gates to open to this new Medford Tufts station. It happened at 4.45 and five minutes later, a packed train left the station for the first time, capping off an extension project years in the making, designed to add service to the Medford and Somerville neighborhoods by extending the northern end of the line from Leachmere to Union Square in Somerville and here at College Avenue in Medford, now part of the E-Line branch of the Green Line. The moment I saw that train packed, not just with like actual conductors, but with actual passengers, wow, that blew my mind. So here we are, it is six, 57 a.m. right now. I am about to take the 112 because, well, well, I didn't feel like walking to school. And in spite of it being early, I still want to take the 112 back to my school. So we're going to do that in today's. Also, I apologize for the horrible, well, I don't know if I say horrible, but somewhat horrible lighting. But here we are. We're at Bellingham Square. about to take the 112 to Wellingham. Actually, no. Street, and then uh, work our way there. Oh, the Pepsi. So here's how it's gonna work. So basically, the video's gonna split into all five sections. Actually, six sections because we're probably going for at least as well. And um, and then I believe then I'm gonna there's gonna be another section on how to validate your fare, and then a time lapse of the ride during rush hour. Um, there will be another video during. Saturday and then Sunday, but um, for now it's just be a weekday rush. So because a lot of people would take it during weekday rush hour from universities and whatnot. So yeah, uh, if you see this video on Thursday, that means your boy Yoshi did a good job and he successfully uploaded the video on time. But if not. All right, good morning, everyone. You're watching Yoshi is take the next day after he couldn't go outside. Oh my God, my hat. After he couldn't go outside yesterday during the Medford branch opening. I just felt sad. I didn't have a realistic feeling of uh, 
not going to see the Mefford branch opening. But today is officially the day. I'm not kidding. We are going to do the entire Mefford branch. I apologize if I act weirdly in the station's review. It's just because I assume that the platforms and whatnot might look slippery. So if this, that's the case, then um, I, I, I apologize for that. It's just, it's just, it looks slippery in my opinion. So if it does, it, I don't know, I don't think it will happen, but if it does happen, I'm just gonna give you guys a, uh, uh, like a warning to get known enough. So yeah, I'll see you guys in school or outside school. All right, what's up y'all? I forgot to film the first segment of it, but whatever. I'm walking to Chestnut Street, to take the Wayne 11, go to Haim, more station, and then uh, see what we got there. Catch you guys on the Wayne 11. Mission complete. We're now at Medford Street and North Washington Street because we are going to walk to North Station. So, here we are, after all the freaking waiting in the first half, now the second half is going to be about wind, windy valley. Why is it so windy here? Oh my god. It's worse here. You want to feel the heat? That's god awful. What in the world? I'm gonna have to essentially do with this. Essentially do with this for the rest of this, this time I'm also nice. Nice. Wow. Anyway, so uh here's how it's gonna work. So once we get into the station, we're gonna put in a seven day pass onto the car. Then we're gonna see if we can try to get the Train arrival announcement. God, why is it windy? This isn't Windy Valley for frick's sake. So I don't know. I'm just kidding. Ah, are you kidding me? I wish I was lying, but I'm not lying to you guys. You can literally feel it through the camera. It almost feels like you can really just feel it in yourself. Like, uh. um, if you're wondering, I still wear a mask in transportation, so I might wear it for the rest of 2023. But I'm thinking about ending it. But comment down below if you think I should end this mask, uh, masked Yoshi era. I'm thinking about it, but. So yeah, here we are, North Station. It's not that far from North Washington Street and Medford Street. It's like a few minutes on a walk, so here we are. Let's get started. All right, here we are in the station. So, get your reduced fare card. I don't even know where my is. Oh, here it is, right here. Get your reduced fare card. And tab it right there. See? $2.80, right, so I'm gonna pick here. Set $10. You can pay with cash, baby. And you can that for you. And then you can tap your card. And if you put in more than 10 bucks, you get change. For me, I get two, five bucks. Cool. And then if you want to receive, absolutely. Sometimes the screen doesn't work, so just press it really hard. And there's none. The okay. next train to Riverside. Doing Charlie card? I wonder if you actually will see it. They both say Union Square. I wonder why they say Union Square, not Mefford Tufts. But I think if we probably go to well, I don't want to leave. I just want to see if I can even catch the door, the, the, the arrival now. I don't think I'll actually say it. 
I don't think so. I think North Stage is probably one of the stations that it doesn't actually say, like, oh, it's going to be arriving. Ow! Yeah, probably not, for what I'm noticing. So, already, we can't even get the arrive announcement. It only, you can only hear it, you can only hear the orange lines, and probably to that way, not that way, that way. Riverside or Heath Street. Maybe when this train arrives, maybe it'll display when the the Mefford Tufts train. Unless this is the Mefford Tufts train. But it just says train to Union Square is arriving. Oh no, it's just Mefford Tufts. That makes me question, are all trains, regardless of where they're going, just say Union Square? From when I'm looking at Leechmere, it just looks the same as before in the March 2022 exploration. But what we could sus suspect, what we could suspect is the busway. The busway may change. So let's find the busway itself at Leechmere Station. Bye bye train. Everything looks to be the exact same. Mefford Tufts, Mefford Tufts. But the thing that we need to see here is the busway itself. Since it did get a little bit of an improvision or redesign or added new stuff, whatever you want to say, but what did they add at Leechmere Station? They closed down some parts, so instead of walking on rocks, you have to take an assigned path. That way is for the 69 and 80, and that way is for the 87 and 88. They all have their bus shelters, and with the exception of fare machines at that one and that one, way far over there. So you do have uh, fare machines for both, which is great. I don't, I don't want to lie, that's actually kind of cool. Um, when we look inside, though, that's where things start to flop a little bit. When we look in just the inside, it just looks like flop. Uh, so, here's the bus shelter. This is 69. They, hopefully soon, they'll have like an actual stop sign over here indicating where the bus will actually terminate or board uh, at certain stops. So, they don't have light at the moment. They have a trash can. Okay, that's cool. Yep, they work. As you can see, they work. And okay, they okay. So that that one doesn't work. Sixty nine is right there. These that particular berth or bus shelter does not have actual fare machines that's the 87 you board there the 87 that way is for the uh the uh the, the, the 88 so it is a travel distance but at least you get there pretty smooth um there seems to be some barriers open like that way it's open too um these are meant to be speakers which i'm going to assume in the upcoming uh ma well hopefully months they're gonna add like a, like a, like a board or something like, something like in Harbor Square that indicates, bye-bye 1971, that indicates how long they had to wait for the bus, like Harbor Square, like upcoming arrivals, Route 87, Sullivan Square, no, 87. Can we, can we rip this? <gasps> we can rip this. Buy Union Square, and that way, that way is to Leechmere Station itself. 
And if you're wondering how far it takes from here to the Cambridge Wall, approximately 4 minutes and 47 seconds, depend on the traffic light or the countdown thing, on how long you have to wait for the actual signal to actually uh, turn it blue or the walking sign. They have these two and this block of cement, which I have no idea what that is. You guys know what this is? I have no idea. Maybe, maybe we can go to Riverside, but I... Uh, the bus is 7 degrees, so I'm gonna say no. I'm not going to... Broader. I'm not going to get that, but... Anyway, so here we are. Valley Day Fair and elevators. Yep, you still have to validate for it regardless, so here we are, we're going to do it at this station. So here's how you validate your fare. So this is the section where you validate your fare. Uh, it's pretty simple, actually. They have fixed the screen because before, one of the screens was broken, but I guess they fixed that, so. I'm pursuing this one because this one's kind of tilted a little bit, but cut the card, cut the card. There's this button that'll say validation. You tap on that erratically and then you tap it again for me it just says the pass but if you have no pass at all it'll just take uh it'll just take two dollars and forty cents off and this is what it'll look like looks okay it doesn't look it doesn't look special it just looks okay must be provided to MFTA personnel upon request. Honestly, they probably won't even request this because... Why are they requested? They're not going to do that. Who's going to do that? The crew? The crew? The crew? No one's going to request that. And as you can see... Four minutes. Taking the exact same elevator back up, up to Lichmere, the Green Line platform. Ow! My hands are already cold. Ugh. So, now that we explore Leishmere, we done with that. Now we're gonna go to the next stop, East Somerville. So, we're gonna film the ride, how long it takes to get to East Somerville. Uh, hopefully they won't stop. Because I definitely would think they were gonna stop. Look at this, look at this, look at this gap. Ugh. Oh my God, that horrible gap. At least this one's not worse for wear, but look at that. The far right side is where it is trains. Leech mirror, not surprising, not even different. And because of now the metric just arrived, uh now it'll it'll what is it? It'll say the next train, hopefully it'll say next, the next train to Medford Tops is now arriving. Um, but as you can see with the old Leechmere station, you can see they kind of didn't really finish with their modification. I don't even know what they're trying to do. With this huge gap, with this huge plot that they're now using, what are they using this for now? Since Leechmere station is, the old Leechmere station is permanently gone, where would this be used for? In my opinion, I feel like they're gonna use this like a, as like a store. I don't know. It just feels like they're gonna use a store. So, yeah, that is it for Leech Mirror. Nothing really changed with the, the 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 actual platform itself. It's just that the busway itself has changed. So, yeah. So now you understand Leech Mirror. Now we're gonna go to the next stop. The next Okay, and you can connect to the Route 69 at Harvard, Route 80 to Arlington Center, Route 87 to Arlington Center or Clarendon Hill if it's on a Sunday, and 88 to Clarendon Hill. So you could board all those routes from there. Um, there's the 88 that just left. My camera's being a little sus right now. There's a 69, and yeah. 
Next stop, East Somerville. Next stop, East Somerville. Approaching East Somerville. Change here for bus connections. Doors will open on the left. Welcome to East Somerville Station. That looks very small, actually, with snow. All right, let's get a review of East Somerville Station, which in my opinion looks very, very cool with this attention to detail. There's a bus right there. What the hell? The bus got uh, detoured. East Summerfield Station map. So they do have some seats. Maximum load, 600 pounds. Probably not necessary. itself looks it looks okay the design of it looks kind of similar to union square station but i'm not saying it is sort of is the sign keeps glitching every time like i don't get it why are they glitching so yeah this is east hammerville um the entrance there is only one entrance and that entrance is right here East Somerville. They have some seats and fare machines as well. Check it out. East Somerville. If we go over here, there's the exit. There's only one exit, so just keep in mind about East Somerville Station. Whenever you're going out of the station, out of the station, then uh, that's not even it. There's that. This is actually not open yet, so that's funny. And then the tea logo shelf. And the way you do this has two different parts to this. Interesting. There's two, there's two different parts to this. But if there's two different parts, that part must be Washington Street, where you can connect to the... Well, there's actually a few routes. If you're going from Washington Street, you board, you can get the 86 to Reservoir or Sullivan. You can get the 91 to Central Square or Sullivan, and you can get the CT2 from either way, from Ruggles or Sullivan. And as for McGrath Highway, which is actually another stop, you can also get the 80 to Arlington Center, Route 88 to Claren Hill or Lechmere. It's saying it goes for the 80 and 90 to uh, Davis or Assembly. And that part is also close too. So, there really isn't much here, but looks good. And that part is probably long enough, probably five minutes to walk through. So, just be prepared whenever you get out at either the following stops at Joy Street or Tough Street during Washington Street. It will be a while to walk here, so just keep that in mind. And they have a storage for bikes. Now, without further ado, let's do what we have to do every single station. And yes, we have to do this for every single station because apparently it's gonna get really annoying at this point, but here we are. All right. Back with a machine, you tap the card, you press validation, boom. 
and then the dispenser ticket. Britain proof of payment receipt. Retain your receipt for onboard expansion. Now this one just says East Somerville. All right. The next one is, all right, so this, bleh. all right, so now that we have done a thorough exploration of this one, because there really isn't anything else, some parts here are closed. Um, they're only open to the next Bedford Tops train arrives in one minute. They're only open to uh, uh, the following Bedford Tops train arrives in 15 minutes. Nice. They're all accessible to people who actually work on the MBT, so. Uh, looks like the commuter rail's coming, so we're gonna get the commuter rail as well. So, let's film the commuter rail. So next stop, oh. so the next stop, I'm sorry, the next stop is Gilman Square, I think. Yeah, it's Gilman Square. Hopefully, I'm hopefully I get this right. Gilman Square. Is next. Welcome to Gilman Square. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So there's two different entrances here. You have that one and that one. So for us, we're gonna go that way first, loop around the station, and then take that entrance down here. The next one's in 13 minutes, so we should be good to go. Okay, Gilman Square. Almost literally the exact same design compared to East Armorville. Gilman Square Copland West. This is to Mefford Tufts. And over here you can connect to the Route 80 to Arlington Center or Leachman only, I think. Well, if you want from walking distance, of course, but um, yeah. Gilman Square. It looks almost the exact same, so I'm not sure what I'm trying to get out of this. Yeah, so this puts you in Mefford Street. So we're gonna go to Mefford Street, but we're not gonna take the stairs because this is an exploration, not a not a not a go to the stairs video. This is an exploration video, not go up the stairs. So where do you get the elevator to get to the top? Green line going up. Yes, please. So long on Key Street or Gilman Square. This elevator has been expected or issued on October 7, 27, 2022, and it will expire on October 31st, 2023, Halloween day. All right, here we are at the top of what appears to be some wrapped stuff. So, Gilman Square. Okay, okay. Looks fine up here. Looks fine up here. Please validate your fare before proceeding to the platform. So you do have some right here and right there. And don't apologize for the hand. It's already red. And this is what this part looks like. So that part gets you to Mefford Street. But we're gonna go that way. We're gonna loop around here. And yeah, there really isn't much. Oh. I guess never mind. I guess we do have to take this path and then loop around. I guess that will probably open soon, but I have no idea when they're gonna open that. So, I'm I'm gonna make a prediction. I'm gonna make a prediction here. I'm gonna make a prediction here, and I will say this: this particular station, Gilman Square, might be busy, commonly, because from what I'm seeing is that this particular station gets you access to the Somerville High School and Routes 88 
to Clarity Hill or Legion Bridge Station on the 90 to Davis Morgan Assembly Road. If this route is busy, then that means there might be lots of riders during rush hour to come here and walk to said schools. Who knows? It might not actually be real. If that's the case, then my predicament is just a lie. And as you can see here, I'm kind of slippery. It's kind of slippery at the moment, so be careful where you're going. Ah! Ah! So this part is slippery, so just be careful about that. All right, here we are. Look at this part. So this part eh, looks fairly fine, but we're gonna go down. I'm probably gonna have to run uh, in the cold while it's windy, like Sonic Adventure. Bro, I'm gonna die out here. Anyways, I'll catch you guys once I run to the other side. Uh. Gilman Square. So I will say this while I'm walking the other side. You can get the train, you can get the bus over here. Alright, to Arlington or Leechmere. So that's a plus, that's a plus. And it's not even a lot of, that far of a walk. It's like probably four minutes at most because the stop is right there. Which I'm thinking that the green line, the thingamajiggy, well, I actually say like the stops over there for those two stops only will be like Green Line Connection, which I'm I'm hoping that'll happen. But because I already did it 80, I can't go back on Route 80 because I already did the Route 80, both to Leechmere and to Arlington. So if anyone in the in the Arlington or Somerville industry can buy this route for me and actually come and actually and actually uh confirm it let me know but i'm unfortunately out of the uh route 80 uh kind so rip Bye. going to do a review about this one there's, there's someone using the elevator already ow all right why am i running This will always stay up there. This will stay there. Elevator. Oh my God. Elevator. Who was this? It's a green vault. Nothing interesting, but okay. This one just says Gilman Square. All right, the next stop is Ball Square, so. Welcome to Magoon Square. Yes, I lied, it was in Ball Square, it was Magoon Square. I totally forgot this stop existed in my opinion. So, there's another one that comes in 3 minutes and there's another one that comes in 10 minutes. That's why I don't even know where actually Magoon Square is. I have no idea. This station might be used. The least, the least. Because, I mean, it's the exact same layout as... Gilman Square. So, are you trying to get on the end of that? No, not really. My good. So, we're probably gonna probably get the nine minute. Actually, no. Maybe, I don't know. 
they'll put you to Lowell Street. But this one has two elevators. So let's take the elevator number 67. Look at my hand, it's freaking red. Oh my. That's essentially the station itself. So, I feel like at the end of the video, I feel like it's gonna be a major drop for me and mine. It feels like there's not too much here. I mean, what else do you have in the station? I mean, it's cool, but at the same exact time, what are you really trying to get out of this? I'm not a Somerville resident, I'm a Chelsea resident, so. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go up to the to the street level. I'm famous, but yeah, the street level. And uh, let's see what we got over here. Oh, they open this way. Okay. So the elevators are way far over here. And okay. This has a little bit of a minor change. I say minor change, it's not too much change. There's you have some seating over here. And then another please validate your fare sign. And this interesting walkway, which they have lights and all, which is cool. I think this one might be okay, but it's not super great. But it's 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 good in design. Um, because they have this long walkway to get to Lowell Street. So, okay, we're doing okay so far. Um, I have no idea. Oh my god, I'm burning right now. At the end of this video, I'm going to burn a lot of calories. I don't even know how much calories I'm burning already. Probably like 60, 60 calories already. Or 80 calories. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... The next, Mefford Tufts arrives in six minutes. So you have another, please validate your fare. The sign itself. More seats, and then the actual thing itself. Which we did three times already. So another three times more. And then this is the outside. The storage compartment for bikes. Magoon Square. Alright, let's do this again. Fucking damn. Alright, four minutes. Okay. So, yeah. Oh my god, we're ending this quite early. I'm actually kind of surprised we're actually ending this early. Um, I guess I'll probably do the 83, 91, 93. If I have a chance. <laughs> Alright. Enough jokes. Let's actually do this. All right. The walkway itself. So, I mean, it just looks, there's nothing new. I mean, and and by the way, it's 2.12. So this is like sort of rush hour, but it's not because I leave school at 1.17. No, today is 12.45 because I said that in, the, in yesterday's clip, uh, but but now that we're here, let's take elevator 768. Boom, 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 boom. Press, 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 press. All right, that's street level. So yeah, so the next, so the next stop will be Ball Square. Now that I'm corrected, the next stop will be Ball Square, and the final stop will be Mefford Tuff. So, yeah. And then, when we get to Mefford Tuff, we're gonna review that, and then we're gonna give a whole rating of this entire station. Actually, no. We're gonna do a time lapse from Mefford Tuff to Park Street, and then we're gonna give a rating from there. What are you guys enjoying so far? Cars, do you hear that? And 
Paris Mugun Square. Do not run from car to car. That's kind of funny. They actually now introduced do not run from car to car. You can cause injury yourself to others. I feel like they're they keep this blame. I feel like they're targeting towards me and saying do not go from car to car. What are you talking about? I'm filming an exploration video. Can I just like go away without anything today? God, this feels worse. <laughs> this feels worse because they feel like they're targeting me. Look, look, look at it. They're just playing it constantly. You heard it already. They're constantly just playing it. You can't see because of the shitty piece of crap. But look at that. Say the reminder. See? They keep displaying that. Look. They come seeing roaring, roaring green line. The following Medford Tufts train arrives in 11 minutes. Here he comes. Oh my god, a commuter rail. Oh my god. Now this is what I'm talking about, Ball Square. Welcome to Ball Square, where you actually get to do a lot of things here and not feel useless. I love it already because, and I know, literally the exact same design. The next one's in 13 minutes, bruh. Really? Almost the exact same as Gilman Square, Magoon Square, and East Summerfield. I feel like the ending may shock you. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the ending may shock you. I'm not... This is not an example foreshadowing. I'm just like... I'm just saying. Because, <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? It's just the same. I don't know. Man. Does it really feel the same? Oh, oh no. I was taking a picture with this bubble. Looks real to me, but I look ugly in the picture. Oh my god. So, I don't know. It just looks the same. What do you really have out of this? Well, there's a few things over here. You have two different entrances, which we're going to do right now. We have look before entering track area so there's a train crossing this is one of the entrances right here hey look route 80 boston avenue here are the fare machines seating that thing which hasn't been taken off for some reason and the entrance and the entrance looks like this you walk this way, and then you see the bike storage compartment for your bike. And then, walk inside from here, you get the 80 to Arlington. <laughs> Me, personally, I've never been here. Like, I've never gotten off this particular stop. Here we are, we're here at Ball Square, in part of the Green Line Extension. So, at Ball Square, what kind of looks? In this station, you have that bus stop, which you can get to the 89, to Davis Square, or Clarinda Hill, and the 80 to Arlington Center. And the other side is right there, where you can connect to the 80 to Leechmere and the 89 to Sullivan. Here's what it looks like. I feel like this station, you can get a lot. You can eat here, you can shop here, you can explore here, but that's not what we're doing. We're exploring the Green Line extension only. So, yeah, be advised about that. But up, 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 oh, they're gonna cross. 
Oh, no, 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 no. All right. They forgot to remove some of that. Do you think we should do it? Probably. Let's do it. The entrance, the other entrance to Ball Square. Greenland, all trains. 675. Lovely. Please validate your fare before boarding. So this is the other side of Ball Square Station. So, fare machines, time table screen. I actually need guess this idea. What is that called? Because I have no idea what that's called. And elevators way over there. And then the police value the affair. They have like multiple of these. But for the sake of us, let's do this again. Pay accept amount, no change available. Already. Boom. Valid till next week. Proof of payment, give me the proof of payment. What? I didn't get it. I didn't, I actually didn't get it. What? Okay, how about this machine? Because the other machine couldn't give me anything. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, fuck it. Oh my God. Bam. What? Hello? Wait, 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 wait. Did it just deduct it? My $2.25, my 25 cents. I said two dollars. Did it just deduct it? Twenty-five cents. Expires twelve fifty. What? It's two twenty-nine. Are you kidding me? They got the timer on, and they did. Took out twenty-five cents off my freaking card. When I have a pass. Oh my god! Already, this episode is not doing well. I lost twenty-five cents. I lost an extra. I lost an extra dollar. I lost a dollar today. I'm not only supposed to be spending 85 cents. I'm sad. This piece of behemoth is still is having a thing going. The stairs are right here, but for us, we're going to take the elevator because I have no idea when the train's going to come. So, yeah. There's 2089. Boom. goes at Ball Square Station. Alright, so we're into the elevator. I don't know, like, what's going on? Because it just seems like I'm losing more money as I progress in this video. Anyways, anyways, now that we have Ball Square out of the way, we can go to the final stop of this said bus. This here is a 3800. All right, y'all, we're here. The first originality bus or train stop. Here we are, guys, at the first train stop for the E line to He Street. Method slash Tufts. Oh yeah, now we're talking. So, what do we have in this station? A good amount of stuff, actually. A uh, two first car stop here signs. A ramp. And all this glory, too. But essentially just feels like the other stations as well, so mm, I'm not I'm not hyped about that, but I mean, heh, it's something at least. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It just looks raw. It doesn't look right, it just looks so unpolished, in my opinion. In my opinion, it just looks unpolished. It just looks like the exact same as the other stations. Jokingly enough. Let's take elevator 772. 
Hey, look, it's the bus I'm trying to get in the Albany division. Yes, I'm going up to street level in Mefford slash Tufts. Looks okay. Because in my opinion, it just doesn't look any different. You have more stairs, which looks like leech mirror. Elevator, it's a little bit more higher. Um, and then you have this part, which is something. So you have this part, which looks like all those personnel rooms. And here we are, the outside of Medford slash Tufts. One day after the GLX grand opening, you have the bike storage compartment and the T logo itself, and Boston Avenue and College Avenue. Now, this is what we're talking about. You ever take this train and go all the way to the final stop? Well, then you just arrive at the University of Tufts. I remember way beforehand in July 2019, they used to close, they used to close, bleh. okay, I'm not speaking right. In July of 2019, they actually shut this part down. Okay, I'm not speaking right, what the fuck? In July of 2019, they used to close this part down in um, hands of like between over here and over here. So the 80 would go over here. And I think, actually no, because of the uh, bridge, because of the bridge. So the A was like detoured, Route 80 was detoured and it has to use that way instead of going that way. And uh, as you can see, there's a Starbucks in the uh, Tufts University. I did not know that. So blurry. Guys, don't ever attempt on what I'm gonna do. Wow! So there is a, a ramp over there, but it's actually closed. So we can't actually go there just yet. But at least we got a view of Mefford slash Tufts. The stop to Tufts University. All right, now that we have the exploration out of the way, it's time to get the time-lapse ride from us going to Park Street Station. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get it, boys. All right, the last time we're gonna validate our fares. You, go to Mr. Sheen, get your car ready. Scan it right there. Press the validation button. And then do it again. The end. My thing is not working today. It's like bad. What the heck? I haven't been. I haven't, this is not even. It's not even scuffed up. Here we go. Oh my god. Validation. The end again. Not my day, bro. This machine doesn't even give you receipts. It literally says no receipts available. And that machine is just broken. Uh, huh? Oh, it did work. Okay, let me try it again. Press. Or does it actually work? No receive. There's no receive. There's literally no receive. Man, tell you something like that, guys. <sighs> well, cool. Uh, I guess we'll just go in the train, I guess. We'll pay on the train, I guess. <sighs> I hate this video. <laughs> There's restrooms, but. It's not gonna be a savior in this episode.
Bro, why did this happen? I don't know. My life is completely broken. I can't even do the right things anymore. Ugh. Well. Let's see what happens. I think what's gonna happen is that they're just gonna, like, tell me to pay on board, which I'm fine with. Like, bruh, the machine's already broken. Well, that's what happens when you go to Mefford slash Tufts. The fair machines will be broken, and you'll be forced to pay on board. You'll be forced to pay on board. So, yeah. Um, now it's time for the time lapse ride. I shouldn't. So the video has now been completed. Now it's time for a time lapse ride from Medford slash Tufts to Park Street. Let's get it going. We are here at Government Center. Because this is where I got raided, but. So, what do I think about the Medford Bridge? It's not bad. It really isn't. The thing is, is that some stations do need it in provision so hopefully in the next few you know months they'll upgrade these stations to be more better and more accessible but my first impressions they were good actually i see some stations such as you know half different designs but they have the same material Will you shut up? You've been playing it 10 times already. Oh my god. Anyways. So, it's fine. I have all these receipts now. And I lost 25 cents at Ball Square. That was nice. And, yeah. That's great. I enjoy maybe Ball Square the most. Because you can do a lot in there besides Gilman Square, because this where you can go to school, Magoon Square, which is essentially nothing to me, and then East Somerville. I mean, yes, some stuff, but not a lot of stuff. But for my rating of East Somerville Station, I'm going to give it a 8.5 out of 10. Four, Gilman Square. I am going to give it a 7.8 .8 out of 10. For Magoon Square, I am going to give it a 7.1 out of 10. For Ball Square, I am going to give it a 9 out of 10. And for Mefford slash Tufts, I am going to give it an 8.1 out of 10. And as for the entire branch, I am going to give it an 83 out of 100. The next photo. So, in yeah, five minutes. you have finally got my review. Thank you guys so much for the following. Bowden train arrives in eight Thank minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button to join the Yoshi Army, and tap the notification bell to know when the next video is uploaded. And I'm going to have such a hard time tonight editing this video. Oh. So, definitely uh, helping me is appreciated. But now I'm going to probably chill on the blue line and see what I can come up with. Hope you guys did enjoy this. And I will see y'all in the next episode. See you guys then. Bye.